So then you just launched Mama Rabbit. Yes, Mama which, Rabbit. At Park MGM yes. in Vegas. Yes. Congrats. That's it amazing. looks amazing. Thanks if you guys beautiful. haven't yeah. seen it, follow at Park MGM or at Mama Rabbit. Yeah, at Trick Mama Rabbit on Instagram. How did how did that whole thing happen? Uh, so like you, like you, like I told you, mezcal is a part of our life forever. You know, we were sort of pioneers of mezcal in Los Angeles and met a lot of people throughout, throughout the years. There was an article in the New Yorker three years ago that was written about mezcal and they talked a lot about me and the restaurant and our history. And then... Is that the one where you're like the queen of mezcal? Yes, that's the one where they... The queen like, of they mezcal. They hyped you up. Literally, I know. I honestly... I, you were the no face. One, I, had no idea, I, had no, I had no idea that I was going to be a focus of the story <laughs> at all. I just went to Oaxaca because I wanted to show this woman where to go. To go to mezcal. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, I, right. I wasn't even going to go to Oaxaca. I was just last minute decision. I went to pick up the copy and it was a travel... I think it was a travel issue and it had a flap... And it said, journey to Oaxaca with a mezcal queen. And I was like, what the f- That's <laughs> amazing. And I was like, wait a minute, is it? No, I don't think you're talking about me. And then I open it up. And the article starts with, Grisia Lopez is a mezcal queen. And then I stopped reading after that. I was wow. Like, I don't, oh my God. I couldn't even read after that. Because I was like, oh. And it was a New Yorker, right? So it was like so huge. Big deal, yeah. yeah it's a huge deal. Mm-hmm. It's a huge, I mean, that, that, I mean. Do you have that framed somewhere? I don't have a frame, but I have it strategically placed in my house. So they nice. come, mm-hmm. they sit down and they pick it up yeah. randomly. And they're like, oh, oh Reese, I'm like, no, no, I don't know. Crazy. Right there. Yeah. I haven't even seen that. What? Honey, I told what? you to put this away. So you start building a name for yourself in the yeah, Mescal I mean, community. I that, but, but I had already been very heavily involved in Mescal. I think that just was one of the, one of the things that was written that, really caught up the attention of a lot of people in a different sort of community. Yeah. And I never even thought the New Yorker would be interested in myself, to be honest, right? It does seem like a tangent for them, but that's pretty amazing nonetheless. Yeah. 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 And then fast forward a few years later, I just got this email from an anonymous source, you know, just a cold (laughs) email from my website that said, hey, we'd love to talk to you about a potential project surrounding Mescal, you know, in Vegas. And I get so many of these emails so many times. I'm just like not interested. And I just said, okay, whatever. But Vegas has always been on my mind since forever. Because I said Vegas, I, you know, I called back, and got emails back and forth. NDAs were signed and they told me about the project. And I was just so excited about it. And, and are you dealing with the MGM executives or like a hospitality point, dealing, team? At this point, I was dealing with the design team. Okay. And a nightlife team. Okay. But just a couple of of nightlife. I had a call with one of the directors and VPs of nightlife and over the phone and sort of going back and forth. And, you know, if I was to get involved, what that would look like, what I would want, what they would want, just to have everyone's, you know, expectations to very mm-hmm. clean on the table. Yeah. And, and do they, at that point, do they have like a, a set, do they have an idea, like a vision? Or are they bringing you in and, and hoping that you bring it to them? At this, at this point, they knew they wanted to do a tequila bar and they wanted to have an element of mezcal in it. But then, you know, if I'm involved, it would be mezcal first, tequila second. Totally. Mm-hmm. So that changed. Nice. And then it's been just such a journey to... How long? How long have you... since? I got the email in August. We signed in December and now we're opening in September. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's super so quick. Fast. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. I was looking at pictures and I saw this video when I went to the space in February. Wow. And the space was gutted. There was nothing in just there. Just a shell. It's just, they move so fast. Vegas moves so mm-hmm. fast. Yeah. They, they, every day counts. Every, they move so fast. Were you spending a lot of time there with the design team? We went to Oaxaca with the design team. Oh, wow. Um, okay. Together. That makes me happy because that's like so thoughtful of them. Yeah. To... No, all the, all the emails. All, I mean, all the phone, it was a lot of phone calls. Meetings in, in, in Vegas were more for, to meet with executive team or okay. um, press or, you know, because really, what am I going to, I'm not going to put a hurt on and like nail things to the wall, <laughs> yeah. you know? Same um, here. <laughs> but uh, but I will. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. a month before, that's really when a lot of the work begun, and we have to go all the time. And you know, two months before, we got a lot of artifacts made in Oaxaca, and I shipped over. So oh, nice. We're seeing all of those things. Yeah. Um, and just awesome. you know, just making sure some of the mezcal was well represented, and 
And are you in charge of the bar program? Were you working with them on the bar I program? I worked with the with the corporate mixologist. His name is uh, Craig Schottler, uh, who is amazing and incredible. Comes from Alinea. And he's oh, just nice. like, yeah, he's such yeah. an incredible, he was, he was chef Sounds background. like a legend, sure. Yeah. Um, is there food there too? There is bites. Like light bites? Okay. Light bites. I don't want to talk about the food because it's such a small menu that I don't think it's... You're not going to go for the food. You're going yeah. to go for the... You're not going for the food. You're going sure. to drink cocktails. Mm. Great is there like a, place. what's your favorite cocktail on the menu? Well, we have like a Galagetza cocktail, obviously, Amazing. right? And that's mm-hmm. like the, <laughs> the spicy margarita version. I mean, we have this drink that... It's called Vera de Tigre, and, and Galagetza is the number one seller. It's so funny because today, actually, I had training with my staff, and my staff was, was telling me, you know, a lot of people come and ask for a spicy margarita with the scalp. Well, yeah. We should have something on the menu like that. And you're like, we do. And I'm like, okay, let's talk about the ingredients of <laughs> margarita, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, what's the ingredients of margarita? I'm like, what's the ingredients of this one? Right, with chile, which makes it a spicy uh, yeah. margarita. A little mezcal scalp. mar, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're like, Oh, also, my favorite nice. summer cocktail. Yeah. I'm just like, how do we name this spicy margarita cocktail from the beginning? People would have a different idea of what mm-hmm. a mezcal spicy sure. margarita would be. But yeah. we named it something else. Anyway, I love the cocktail program there. I think, I mean, obviously, that is why you should go. Yeah. But they're so innovative. Do they, do they, they're beautiful. They're when beautiful they do, cocktails. do they do tastings of mezcal? And, yes, and the little clay the pots. They do, wow. They do, they do with the veladoras. Oh, really? The we little use, candle glass? Yes, we decided oh, that's to do cute. veladoras. And we do ceramic copitas for tequila. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. And the ceramic copitas oh, are interesting. actually made in Oaxaca, too. Amazing. They're beautiful. beautiful yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's a cool experience to see those, too. Um, and we serve the mezcal both with citrus and agave with worm salt, the sal de gusano, and chocolate. Ooh, and chocolate. And chocolate is the best pairing. People don't really? Like yeah, we do. These, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, we do these really cool uh, Oaxacan chocolate truffles. Um, mm. The chefs from Park did these beautiful truffles with the Mama Rabbit logo on top. Oh, cute. And they give you your mezcal with your truffle. Yeah. The art inside the space Okuda, is like yeah. unbelievable. I know. How did that come about? Well, Okuda actually was also pinpointed by the by the team. So I okay. didn't choose the artist. Okay. Um, it kind of already came with the package per se. Sure. They said, you know, we have this artist that we really want to work with. Obviously, they say, are you okay with it? You, you know, I looked into it. I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. I'm like, yeah, he's great. It's beautiful. Yeah. He did send the first draft of his um, of his idea. Mm-hmm. There were a few modifications that we made just because of what the space was and what it meant. Mm-hmm. So um, the woman in the image, mm-hmm. if that was a different image, now it's like this beautiful indigenous woman that's just a representation of what I think beauty is and then the three slot machines were different animals before but then they became the animals that they are now and yeah it's, it's amazing it's really cool and they're working slot machines that's really that's cool. so how big is that's so big by the way a dollar I'm like what happened to the five cent machines <laughs> I, yeah. I do not I'm not gonna put a dollar in there no, no. a Same. dollar means a lot to me yeah. is there like that's a lease good, like how does yeah. that work in terms of do they have a vision for the space being there long term or how do they so how does that side of it work it's a park MGM property mm-hmm. I am a partner but I am not like the owner of the space yeah so it's their team their management team and I'm a partner in it Got I'm it. not. I don't. I'm not the operator. They they operate it. They build. They. I mean, it's it's their space. Yeah. And then they decide when it makes financial sense to say like, it's not working. We need to tweak things. Sure. How can we make this better? But it's you know our job to make sure that they do well. Yeah. Uh, promotion. You know, being on top. Like, what 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 else can we do? And keep it as authentic, but also understanding that it's Vegas. Yeah. Understanding who goes to Vegas. And there's being idealistic and being realistic. And and I learned a lot from that too, you know, from it's only going to be mezcal. We're like, that's impossible. Yeah. Okay. Only this one tequila. That's also impossible. You need yeah. to have gin and vodka and rum. Okay, right. great. So let's have a Mexican gin. Let's have mm. a Mexican rum. Nice. Let's, you know, let's have um, Oaxacan whiskey. Like, let's figure out a way mm. to incorporate these other spirits yeah. that people like. Of course, is Maker's Mark, and of mm. course, is Bacardi, and of course, sure. you know, is Casa Amigos, just because it has to. It's because, a brand, yeah. People you know, and people, people are going to call for that, and, mm. and you know, there's a place for that, and maybe downtown Vegas, but I think in Vegas, the Strip, you need to understand that this is how you make change, mm-hmm. you know. 